forgot to turn my lights on. Uh. Uh. Oh, let's spray some Zoella perfume. Let's start the video now. Woo. Hey guys, it is Sophia here. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm sitting down and filming a video again for you guys. Before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that had an overwhelming amount of support on my last video. Um, I was a bit debatable on whether I wanted to put that video up because it was pretty personal in like the sense that like that was basically my life for six weeks in the hospital. I kind of showed you like not everything that was happening but like most of the stuff that I have to go through on a daily basis. So yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was so supportive on that last video. It really meant a lot to me. So thank you. Anyway, anyway, you guys are here to watch this week's video, not last week's video. So let's get right into it. So today I decided I just wanted to do a little sit down chit chat update kind of video because I love doing these kinds of videos. You guys love to watch them and also lots of people have been asking me to do like an update on my life and what's happening. So I thought that was a fabulous idea. So I'm going to do that for you guys. So the first thing is the most obvious thing what is happening with your life in terms of treatment and stuff like that at the moment also by the way before we start this I have flowers that are alive again props to me anyway um so I am going to be having oh I finished all of my treatment so I think I finished my radiation and I finished my chemo and I've had my surgery and I'm gonna be having my scans next week so Monday no, Tuesday next week and Thursday the 18th are my big ones. That's my MRI and my PET scan. So they will determine how the treatment has react, how the cancer has reacted to the treatment. Fingers crossed the news is fabulous. I know it will be anyway because we just have to believe and stay positive. So yes, that's a bit nerve wracking, but we just got to hope for the best. Um, so for the MRI and PET scan, it's basically like where you just go in a big machine and you get scanned. Um, last time I had it, I've never actually told anyone this, but last time I had my PET scan and my MRI, they basically have to like put this, it's almost like chain you in in a way. They have to like put this like cast over your face, over your whole body, basically down to your feet. Um, last, I've had it once before and I was completely fine. Last time I had it though, I was... Um, I don't know how to say it. I got in and I was all strapped in and everything ready to go in and then I just had a massive panic, panic attack. I got super claustrophobic and I needed to get out there as soon as I could. Um, and then ever since then I've kind of been a little bit hesitant to go in. So they're going to put me under general anaesthetic so I don't have to worry about a thing when I go in. So that's good. Um, and then the one next week is just a CT scan of my chest to see how my lungs going. And they'll be all good because they got cut out with the surgery. So yes, um, I will let you guys know the results of that as soon as I can. But as for now, I just want you guys to all hope and wish and pray that everything is going to be fabulous. So yeah. Okay. Oh, people are asking me a lot about school as well. So I go, I'm back at school now, not full time. I'm doing four subjects instead of seven, which is like the normal amount. So I'm doing English, Maths, Science, and Photography, and they're like my favourite subjects. Not so much Maths, but I'm getting by. Um, but yeah, so I just go when I have those subjects, and like if I'm going during the day and I just have like one spare class, I'll just stay at school and go in the library and like do my homework, so I don't have to have my homework when I get home from school, because I'm usually super tired and super knackered. So yeah, that's that. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know I got a P.O. box and I'm super excited because heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of people have been asking me where they can send me stuff or if they want to send me a card or something. So here is the P.O. box. Um, if you guys want to send me a card, please don't feel obliged to send me anything at all. It's just for the people that have been asking for it. And I just love getting messages and cards from you guys because it makes me feel so happy. And yeah, so here's the address I'll leave it down below as well in case you guys want it and if you're having any trouble or anything feel free to message me on Instagram and Snapchat here's my links 
bit of a social blogging if I don't say so myself. But yeah. So another super exciting thing that's happening is I'm actually starting to get my Maker Wish together. Um, I don't want to tell you guys what it is yet because it's a surprise. And if it doesn't come true, then that would be disappointing. So I don't want to let you guys know what it is yet until I know that it's going to come true. But it's super exciting and I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. Um, I'll let you know as soon as, as I can. The last thing I was just going to touch on is one question I get asked frequently is like have you been affected by chemo in any way like late term side effects and I would say definitely two things um my chemo has completely affected my bowels and my digestive system and everything it just goes from one extreme to the next and I don't really exactly want to talk about it because it's not great but yeah it's not the best my hair's growing back it's so curly like it was last time. It's like curly craziness, if you ask me. You guys have probably seen this before, but... Actually, I've shown it on my Instagram, but I don't think I've shown it on here. It looks a bit funny until you kind of sort it out. But... Yeah. Everyone says I look like my mum when I wear this, but we don't see it. I kind of see it, but she definitely doesn't see it. But I don't know. I really like it. I wore it to Adele. I feel like a princess when I'm wearing it. I just need a flower crown. Out of three, two, one. I'm back to normal. Chemo hair. I don't really know what else I'm talking about. I feel like this video was a bit of a mishmash ramble type video. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you a bit of an update on my scans and where I'm at with my whole treatment situation. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You know the drill. The like button is down below. Click it right now. Stop what you're doing. Stop. Pause the video. I'll wait for you. Like the video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. How many subscribers do we have now? Let me just check. 6,657 so let's see how many we can get when this video gets up let's try and get to 7,000 my goal is 10,000 and maybe there'll be a little giveaway when it happens who knows but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Oh, and if you have any questions don't forget to leave them below because I love answering your questions and follow me on my social media the links will be all in the description below but I love you all so, so, so much and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.